So, as you've probably noticed, Lexi didn't do her vlog last night. On my way home from work, I got ranting in my head about how people don't do what they say they're going to do. Which then got me to thinking about how often I rant in my head. Which is a lot. But the rant that I probably do most often, and not in my head, is about bathrooms. There are hard, fast, well-known rules about public restrooms. So rule number one, the most obvious rule, flush. How hard is it to flush? Now, at my office, there's two kinds of non-flushers. The first kind is the person who actually does flush, but it doesn't all go down. Flush again, double tap. But the second kind's the worst kind. These are people who don't even bother to flush. You walk in, there's still paper on the toilet, and sometimes there's still something in the toilet. People you know you just went the bathroom. Flush! Rule number two. If you know you're gonna stink up the bathroom, bring some matches, perfume, something. Here's what always happens. Someone stinks up the bathroom. I'm the next person in. Now the bathroom stinks. I go to the bathroom. I didn't stink up the bathroom, but as I'm leaving, someone else walks in. Guess who they think stunk up the bathroom? Me! Which means, if I go in the bathroom and it stinks, I gotta speed pee. I gotta get in and out before someone else comes in and thinks that it was me who stunk up the bathroom. Number three, stall it. At my office, there's five stalls. Stall etiquette would tell you that if you're the first one in, you take the outside stall. You're the second one in, you take the other outside stall. Third one in, you take the middle stall. Now, if you happen to be the fourth or fifth one in, there's not much you can do, but you can take a moment to look under and decide who's going to finish first, so that ultimately when you go in, you're peeing next to one person and not two. Well, that's my rant for today. And next time you use a public restroom, think about these rules. Now, for my challenge to Lexi. Since you missed yesterday's video, I get to challenge you to a dare video. And here it is. In your next video, you will spend the entire three minutes telling the world why I am such a fabulous mother. But you'll be doing it in your finest 80s gear, including hair and clothing. And at the end, you will display your finest 80s dancing to the 80s song of your choice. Have fun. See you tomorrow.